here during the quarantine, we have limited outdoor time every single day before our neighbors come out to infect us. Elijah plays soccer 30 minutes twice a day. If he scores eight goals for every 10 minutes, how many goals has he scored by the end of quarantine in 14 days? All right, what a problem. There are many ways to solve this problem. The way I'm going to show you is what I would teach my students. If your teachers or parents have taught you another way, it's probably not as good. I'm just kidding, it might be good. But you can always check your answer at the end, right? And so the first thing I like to do whenever I have a word problem, instruct the beats in quarantine math uses a sides check word problem strategy. If you don't know what that is, that's okay. Check out our awesome sides check song over here, which will explain to you the steps. If you're a teacher, we have an awesome teacher resource as well. But first of all, the S stands for statement. So I wanted to restate the question. The question was asking me, how many goals is he going to score in 15 days? So I'm going to say, Elijah will score blank goals in 14 days. If I said 15, I didn't mean that. So now I would identify important information if I had the word problem in front of me. But because this is a quarantine and you can't talk or touch or do anything with anybody, you obviously can't get a worksheet with the questions on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the things that I would have circled. First of all, I'm looking for anything about goals or anything about days. So I know that there is obviously 14 days in quarantine so far. I know that uh, he is doing two times 30 minutes a day, okay, which is going to be 60 minutes per day of soccer. And I know that he scores eight goals for every 10 minutes. Say every, not equal. I don't know what that means, okay? And so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to first figure out how many minutes does he have total? Okay, because I know that I'm scoring goals for every 10 minutes, so I need to figure out how many minutes do I have total. And so I'm going to do that with a part whole tape diagram. Okay, and we do tape diagrams. If your teacher does something else, that's okay. Um, but if you don't, if you'd like to use tape di diagrams, check out our awesome tape diagram lessons that we have. You can probably see the link right here. Um, and so I know that I'm doing 14 days. Okay, so I have one day, two days, dot, dot, dot. I'm going all the way to 14 days. And I know I'm looking for how many goals total I'm scoring in those 14 days. Well, the first thing we need to figure out then is how many goals am I scoring every single day? So to do that, I'm going to use my important information right here about the minutes. And I'm actually going to make a T-chart. Okay. Um, sometimes tape diagrams make the most sense. Sometimes using the T-chart, whatever you do, have a strategy to show your work. You should never do anything in your head. Uh, that's just not very smart, right? And so here I have goals and here I have my minutes. I know that I am counting by groups of 10 because it said for every 10 minutes. And I know that for one day, I'm going all the way to 60 minutes, right? So for every 10 minutes, I scored another, or Elijah scored another eight goals. That's 24, 32 and 40 minutes, 40 uh, goals in 50 minutes, and 48 goals in 60 minutes. So in one day, I'm scoring 48 goals. That means up here, I can now fill in what I was missing. And now, my multiplication that I'm trying to do here, or my repeated addition really is 48 plus 48 plus 48 plus 48. But I know really what that's saying is 14 groups of 48, because when you're using repeated addition for multiplication, your time sign says groups of. And then all I need to do is solve this to help me figure out how many goals I scored, or Elijah scored total. So I'm gonna do 48 times 14, if you don't know how to do your standard algorithm of multiplication, go ahead and check out this song that we have in our video playlist on it. Um, if you do partial products, it's something that's perfectly okay, but it's always awesome to know the standard algorithm. So listen to the song, obviously click like. Whenever you multiply, you go right to left. So I'd have 32. I'm going to regroup my three tens over my tens place. Four times four is 16 plus three is 19. 
I'm now done with the four, so I cross out, add my zero, and erase. The reason I have to add my zero here is because this one is in the tens place, which is really a 10. So I'm not doing one times eight, I'm doing 10 times 80, which means my eight needs to be in the tens place, which it is now. And then 10 times 40 is 400, which again is why I have to have my four in the hundreds place. So if you don't add your zero here, your place values are gonna be off, right? So now all you do is you add these together and it looks like in 14 days, Elijah will have scored 672 goals. I'm not surprised because he's my son and he's awesome. Hopefully you will uh, check us out tomorrow for your next quarantine math. I think it's going to be good. As always, wash your hands, cover your mouth, stay away from anybody that you can right now, not to be rude, but just to stay safe. And that, like we like to say here at Quarantine Math, stay safe, do math, I'm out.